Someone told me about a chappy. A what? A chappy who was so quick, he used to change lands during a shot. Guy's an idiot. Guy's a legend. Guy's an idiot. Why? Because if you take the lens off while the camera's on, it attracts dust to the sensor. Guy's an idiot. Taste the rainbow. Let's go! Ready to start your uh, your journey? Oh, oops! Oh, I already smashed the car. Dawn calls. We all wake up and have a shout at each other. Everyone goes. Oh. So we're gonna go first off. I don't, we don't really know what we're doing. I think we're gonna go and see the sunrise which may or may not be good. Then we're going to um, maybe go down to the other side of the woods and film some things happening. I might try a little experiment. And I'm just going to enjoy looking at a new spot. I haven't really been to a woodland since moving to Bristol. Oh, it's bizarre. a good one. The sun rises quite slowly. <laughs> I've just realised it's, it's going to take a while to get anything other than just a small distance covered on this. <laughs> Top tip of the day, number one, and mm -hmm. there's probably going to be lots of these. If you ever do a time lapse, the sun is really slow. <laughs> so I would anticipate needing to leave at least an hour, <laughs> which I haven't done. I just realised I've shot my whole time lapse in raw. Oh, I shot in the wrong aspect ratio as well. <laughs> So basically, so far, the time lapse that we we're all waiting for, wrong aspect ratio, yep. shot in raw, yep. wonky horizon, <laughs> basically, doesn't have the bridge in. <laughs> everything that you could do wrong was done wrong, which is good because, you know, that's how you learn, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I reckon it still looks sick though, to be fair. Oh, <laughs> oh it's good. So me and Matt were just walking along the path and we stumbled across this gorgeous section, absolutely gorgeous section of grass covered in dew drops. The light and the dew it looks amazing. Um, I've actually been taking these macro shots with my, my telephoto lens. It's allowing me to get right back and get quite a lot of uh, bokeh because I'm really compressing the shot. Matt was taking photos as well and then massively realised that he was meant to be doing video, <laughs> and so it's disappeared up the hill. Oh, that's hideous. Let's go. We, we kind of were going to get sunrise and then go to the next place pretty much straight away, but uh, it's been so goddamn lovely out here. <laughs> we basically just saw Drew. Drew, Drew. Dew, dew drops and uh, got very excited. Okay, so we're heading back to the car. Gonna head to Paradise Bottom, <laughs> and then there's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so at the moment we're just carving through some trees. Ooh, <laughs> I love that. Oh, it's bloody beautiful up here. Around here, get an idea how nice it is. Very, very cool. You know what? It feels very California up here. What have you seen? A duck. Why is there a duck over there? <laughs> I've never seen a real life forest, my lord.
my opinion, this is one of the nicest spots in Bristol. So Matt has just this is coming down to Paradise Bottom. So this is where I'm going to start my project. The thing is, right, the light, that's my only concern. Yeah. I've got to work with that, right? That's yeah, that's the, whole, that's the whole idea. Right. So here we are, we're in Lee Woods, and this now is my first, basically, episode of, seri of a series of projects I'm going to do. And this is what I'm going to call 10 meter walks. Now, what that means is I'm going to set out a 10 meter distance, transect, line, if you like, and I'm going to film as much as I can from that single line. I'm going to be doing it all in one hour. So that's one hour, 10 meters, and we're going to see what I can create. Now I'm going to hopefully do this in a whole variety of different environments. This is the first. It's, I would call, like, Woodland River. It's a bit silty, it's a bit dirty, there's some nicer stuff down there, but I wanted to kind of like emphasize the whole like restricting circumstances kind of thing. The 10 meters, just to show everybody. I guess okay, that's my 10 meters. Go. We're off. Let's go! Up. That was that was seriously hard, like way harder than I thought. This is the thing though, I had no concept of what I was going to do before I got here. I didn't know what was going to be here, I didn't know what birds were going to be there. I got some bird behaviour, I got some small insects down by the river and a lot of general shots of stuff. <laughs> but there's no story, basically as soon as I started I thought, oh, Am I going to tell a story or am I going to show a film, just going to film nice stuff? I kind of caught somewhere in the middle really. It's really interesting because now suddenly I'm doing what I normally do when I film. Uh, when I go somewhere where I sit down and I don't look for shots. You, you notice them without having to think about it. I've just seen that spider. I've just seen a really cool little hoverfly. Both got on with my macro lens but they can't go in the thing because I was trying too hard in the actual exercise instead of just waiting to see what happened. An hour's, an hour's not a long time, actually. Especially, t you see, 10 meters is far. I find <laughs> I have too much choice. I thought I was going to be really restricted, but I have too much choice. Thank you. 
very, very cool.